All right, uh, we're going to be joined by my good buddy Barry Goldsmith any minute he comes on. Hey, first of all, he writes, you know all the funny stuff I say on this show? And if you think it's funny here and there, thank you. Hear you now. Um, okay. Barry Goldsmith uh, writes many of the jokes you hear me say on here. He writes them for me in a special way. I put them into my own words. But the guy is working day and night to make sure that our show is as good as it could be. He's a former, he's a former writer for uh, Maury Povich. He's a former writer for Steve Ducey from Fox and Friends. He is the host of the Been There, Haven't, Haven't Done That podcast, heard on WOR Radio here in New York. He's an architectural specialist. He's an NYU professor. And um, Barry, I talk about a lot of things on this show. But with Halloween approaching, I heard you're talking about topics related to Halloween, such as Tales from the Crypt. Yes. In fact, I have to thank you, John, because you, te you teach me so much about finance. You taught me about cryptocurrency. Never heard it before. Well, I'm going to teach you and your audience about a very special place that's haunted. It's in Rome, ancient Rome, and it's very spooky. It's the crypto. Porticus. It's a secret passageway, a tunnel, from linking one of Nero's palaces to another one overlooking the Forum. And it's very special because it's haunted. Another crazy emperor, Caligula, was murdered in there and his ghost haunts it. Now, I was very unlucky to go in it alone. It's about uh, a quarter of a mile. And that's when you really want to see the light at the end of the tunnel, believe me. And all of a sudden, something creeps up on you, and it's on the walls. Here, John, take a look at this. Okay? Oh! Now, on, yeah, on your left is the tunnel. It's all alone and scary. But imagine going blocks and blocks, and all of a sudden, you're waiting for Caligula's ghost, and instead, creeping up as virtual reality, it's Caligula's palace instead. Thank God, he was nowhere in sight. Wow. So any, anyway, um, let's look at something else. Uh, you, okay, here we go. This is on, <laughs> do you see it? Okay, speaking of haunted and ghosts, this is what the number one costume is, the mask. Uh, <laughs> Take a look at it, John. Here we go. Ouch. Okay. Now, depending on your political preference, okay, if you're a Republican, you'll wear the Trump mask on the left, and if you're a Democrat, you'll wear the Trump mask on the right. Well, what will the independents be wearing? The independents, uh, actually, they buy both, and they go from one to the other. And I heard <laughs> that right now, 16% of the American public don't know which mask they're going to be wearing next week. Okay? Wow. So you think there's still 16% uh, of Americans who are not sure if they're going to be wearing the mask with the mask or the mask without the mask? But whatever they should wear has to be a tag of I voted on it, okay? Got now, it. Here's the mask that I'll be wearing. And it's got, guess what? It's got your initials on it, JT. Oh, but boy. It's really the mask of America's number one super spreader, Jeffrey Tubin. Remember him? Here he is. Oh, boy. Uh, in fact, believe it or not, Shakespeare uh, had him in mind when he said, tube in or not tube in? That's that the question. That is the question. The question. Now, okay, uh, I'm, if Jeffrey... Tubin can do it. We're on Zoom now. No, 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 no. Let's not, let's not do anything crazy here. We don't, okay, we don't no. want any reenactments. Okay, okay. Viewer discretion is advised uh -oh. because if Jeffrey Tubin can do it, I can do it. I'm going to show everybody my junk on Zoom. Here it is. Here's my junk. Oh, okay. wow. Okay. You, you see it, everybody? That's my junk. And look what we got here. I gotta show you all this, okay? This shirt is too big on me. All right? Now, here oh, it is. Oh, God. Whenever I have, I was going to give it to Rudy Giuliani. Whenever I have an affair with a young woman, a tryst in a hotel, I make sure that the tails are cut off. 
because I don't want to waste time tucking them in when she's <laughs> lying there. Beautiful. So, and th that's my junk I'm showing. <laughs> All right. So, let, 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 let's, in the future, don't scam me like that, okay? I thought, okay. Well, I thought this was going to turn into an X-rated segment. We don't need no junk on here, but thank you. That was okay. fantastic. Now, let me ask you this. What are the hot topics for this week going into the weekend? What do people the need debate. to know? The, the debate, of course. And I have to tell you this. People don't give Trump enough credit. Last night proved that Trump was all for climate change because he definitely changed the climate from his first presidential debate, right? Oh, without a and, doubt. And he also looked much better. None of that, or he had bronze on his face instead of orange. I heard that they ran out of orange pancake because McDonald's did not deliver his pancake in the morning, so he ate that instead. <laughs> and, you know, who's out converting more Trump voters? Okay, I Ivanka, she's going, to uh, she's going to convert Trump's Christian uh, voters into Trump's Jewish voters. See? She wow. knows all about converting. Right. Well, yeah. she, um, her, so, husband, uh, her husband, it, Jared anyway, Kushner's... Thanks. Her husband. By the way, Hunter, Hunter Biden, okay, um, he's going to change. He's transitioning. Uh, he's used to grease his palms with oil, but you know... Him and Jeffrey Tubin. His father wants to get rid of oil now, <laughs> so he has to find something else to grease his palms with. Yeah. Jeffrey and Tubin might have been using some oil to grease his palms too, no? Or at least grease the monkey. Yes, very good. Yes, yes. <laughs> you see, in I fact, can do it on uh, the fly. By the way, I heard, I heard that Jeffrey Tubin was not the big story of the week, much to his dissatisfaction. Oh. He wanted it to be a big story. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, what about kids in cages? <laughs> kids in, did you know that uh, Donald Trump is taking care of kids in cages? I yeah. did not know He's that. He's protecting them from QAnon pedophiles. Put them in a cage. You don't have to worry about pedophiles. See Ouch. that? He also makes sure they eat well. Th those kids in cages, they fly in every day. Great food from Louisiana. Cage in food. <laughs> All right. Stop it already. You're killing no. me. You're killing me. You're killing me. Okay. We, it, 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 there's too much laughter for one show. You're an amazing humorist. You're a great friend. And uh, there's no better way to end my week than with a few funny words from my good friend, Barry Goldsmith. Thank you, my brother. Thank you, John. And thank you, John. That's and Barry it's all red, white, and blue. That's Barry Goldsmith. Love your costume. One of the funniest men in the business. Uh, it will be funny if you uh, tune in again on Monday. Same bad time, same bad channel. More Trump rooting, more Biden slamming. Same bad time, same bad channel. More liquid lunch. Have a great weekend.